All right, what's up guys? So today I bought an Antminer L3 Plus, and this is an ASIC miner. Uh, I think it came out like three years ago. It does about 500 mega hash per second, and it's a script miner. So it can only mine script coins. It's not like I can mine Ethereum or something with this. Um, <clears throat> but so I bought it today from a guy locally, which is good because if, if I would have bought it on eBay, I would have had to pay for shipping and these things are pretty heavy so I could I could see shipping being like a hundred bucks um, so I got it from a guy locally that said he bought it never used it um, it just sat on the shelf um, and he also has the power supply and he's including the power supply and I even got him talked him down a little bit on the price so I think I'm getting a really good deal on this um, four hundred dollars for the miner um, which includes a power supply and not the bitmain power supply but the a CPU one that is interchangeable. So if I ever wanted to use that 1,000 watt power supply on a motherboard or something, I could do that. <clears throat> and that's what I was thinking about doing was building a rig, you know, spending maybe $1,500 or so on a gaming machine, loading it up with, uh, you know, Radeon or GeForce uh, GPUs and stuff and just going to town running a 1,000 watt power supply and just uh, po pointing it at nice hash and, you know, getting... Uh, I don't know, five bucks a day or something. But then just in Facebook marketplaces where I found this Antminer L3 Plus from a local guy, and I said, yeah, I got to give this thing a try because I've been interested in Antminers for a little while. Uh, uh, sorry, ASIC miners. Um, so I'm going to pick it up tomorrow. The thing about ASIC miners, if you don't know, they're really loud. So it's like being, if you've ever worked in a data center, um, those machines in there, they're um, you know pulling tons of power and they're very loud. The fans are running uh, really high. Um, they tend to be warm environments, even with the air conditioners on. And uh, so same thing with uh, with these. The fans run high, and uh, and they can run they can run at full tilt, which is super loud. So a lot of guys keep these in their garage to keep it warm during the winter, or just to keep the noise down. Um, but in the summer, um, I'm not sure I, what I'm going to do, but because it's currently, we're coming out of summer, about to get into spring, so anyway, going back to the coins, um, like I said, it only does script, so you can see over here in minor stat, I've got script, so if I click on script, I can see all the coins, and um, my hash rate is nowhere near 2200, it's going to be 500, and my power consumption is nowhere near uh, 2000, it's going to be 1000, but actually, I'm going to get free power. Um, I have a co-working space that I'm going to hook this up at and just run it there for a while at least, um, and then maybe bring it home and start running it on my rig. But um, you can see, and our electricity costs are about 12 cents. Um, if I calculate this, um, you can see, sure, I can make almost five and a half dollars a day on some coin that nobody's ever heard of, XOZ or zero Z. But minor stat um, is nice enough to tell you this is speculative. Nobody, nobody wants to buy this thing. Nobody even knows what this coin is. I couldn't even find a damn website for this stupid coin. So even if I had this and tons of it, I could never sell it. So, um, but apparently people are are hashing on it. Um, so I don't know what's up. And then like, same thing with some of these other ones. Sure, you could take your chances, try to make uh, five and five dollars fifty cents on Australia cash, whatever the heck that is. Um, but again, nobody wants it. So I prefer to go with something that people do know, like Dogecoin. Dogecoin is probably the most well-known <clears throat> script coin. So if we go back, um, and if you if you see this script, or sorry, this algo list, um, if we go down to, I don't know, Kapow, or let's actually see what script is. So ETHash has 32 coins. Um, i trying to see which has the most... NeoScript has 20. Uh, I think we have 29 in uh, script. Oh, we got 42. Okay. Um, and uh, you can only ASIC mine these things, apparently. Um, I'm not sure if this column here is showing you what you can mine with or what's recommended. Let's see if the hardware is ASIC. So so I'll only do script with these, and that's fine. I'll just mess around with script. Um, so I'm currently doing... I'll have to do another um, video about my cow pal. I'm doing... Um, Gosh, what am I doing on that? Uh, Raven coin. That's what I'm doing. Uh, I've got a Dell Inspiron XPS laptop, actually, with a uh, GeForce 2060 in there. And I'm getting, like, um, uh, 
not too good. It's about 12 mega hash per second. Um, but I think I'm getting, actually, when I hooked that one to nice hash, I was getting like uh, almost four bucks a day on it. So not too bad for a laptop, but I don't want to mine on a laptop. I'll blow it up. Um, so, but the interesting thing is if you did buy a brand new laptop and you got the warranty and you did blow it up mining coin, you know, it'd be under warranty. So that's kind of a nice thing. Um, so that's a rare case where I think the extended warranty pays off. But anyway, let's go down to script and click on that. Here it is, 42 coins. Here's the list and uh, the most popular ones are right here. So here's a Light, Litecoin uh, Doge uh, mix, a merged mine, which is cool to me. And um, you've got uh, the nice hash script right here, uh, which is interesting, 11.55 a day. That's not bad. Um, uh, $12 a day with Litecoin. Um, so, oh, but sorry, my hash rate's way off. I was gonna say that, that sounds way high to me. Um, let's put in 500 and drop the power to zero. Calculate. Yeah, this is more like it. The best I'm ever gonna probably do is around four bucks a day, which isn't much better than my laptop, honestly. Um, but it's going to be fun to play around with this thing, uh, especially with some of these lesser known coins uh, like Einsteinium. Because um, if that hits, I mean, or Doge, the thing about Doge is uh, Elon Musk is talking about it. So if Doge really takes off, and I've got a lot of it um, because I'm mining the hell out of it with this ASIC miner and I'm getting, you know, dollar fifty a day and just keep putting it in Doge, um, and that thing hits, that would sure be nice. Um, so I might try that, but uh, I think I'm going to start with Einsteinium or or even F2 Pool. I, I like F2 Pool. I don't know if I'll do Litecoin right away, but let's take a look at um, let's take a look at Einsteinium again. Whoops. That's sorry. Let's do minor stat. Uh, Einsteinium. If I could spell. There we go. So hash rate is 500, um, calculate. So I'm not gonna make, uh, well actually that's not too, that's not bad. Uh, Einsteinium, you're looking at um, potentially 200 a month on that one. Am I looking at this right? Yeah. So um, that's not bad. I could have this um, unit paid off in two months. Um, if these prices hold. So um, so that's good. So I, I might start with Einsteinium. And, uh, you know, once once the unit's paid off, then it's just gravy from there. So as long as I can get that free power. If I can't get that free power, look at how my price changes. Um, I'm now getting 108, which still isn't bad. But I think Einsteinium is one to look out for. Um, I'll probably start with that. I gotta figure out how to use this thing. I've heard the UI is a little bit weird. There's some different BIOSes you can get. Some of them take out the fees. So I, I'm not factoring in fees here at all. So um, you gotta watch out for these fees. Um, I think the BIOS has a fee in it. You can get a hacked BIOS from what I heard, which takes the fee out, but um, what if you break your device? So, um, <coughs> but this was only a $400 device. So if for some reason it blows up, it's just $400. I'm not too worried about it, but Anyway, thought you'd be interested in that. That's the um, Ant Miner L3 Plus. I'll pick it up tomorrow. Once I get it working, I'll do another video um, showing, showing how it works. So hope you enjoyed this. If you have an Ant Miner L3 Plus, uh, let me know in the comments below and let me know what you think about it. And uh, talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.